Hi, today I want to show you a little thing that I do here with uh, my dry pots. If I'm going to slip them, I uh, put a baby oil on these pots. So it's a mineral oil. You can use mineral oil or baby oil. Um, a lot of times when you're slipping a pot when it's dry, it overhydrates the surface and can cause cracking. And uh, this mineral oil keeps the the slip from cracking the pot most of the time. You can apply two coats if you need. I usually let one coat dry and then I'll come back and apply another coat. You can use a plastic bag or your hands. Just let it soak in. And I'll let it dry on there. Depending on the porosity of the clay, it can take just a few minutes or 45 minutes to an hour to soak in. And this helps uh, keep, them, keep the pots from cracking if you're gonna slip them while they're dry. If they're wet, you don't have to worry about it too much, but a lot of times if you're making a whole bunch of stuff and got kids to pick up from school or what have you, it, uh, nice to let your pots dry out and then come back at a later time and slip them and then you can paint them. So it's going to look wet for a while and then it'll kind of go to a dull color and that's when you know it's dry. I'll come back in a little bit and then we'll slip this thing and throw some paint on it. All right, so my mineral oil or baby oil has dried on this pot doesn't look wet anymore and uh, I have a clay slip that I found recently actually it's a clay but it's really hard to make pots out of and I fired this pot and it shattered it just took a long time to build the pot and the clay is almost like a caliche or a calcium carbonate or something but it is a clay but it fired out a really beautiful kind of buff color so I want to see if it'll work as a slip on this pot and just see see if it'll you know see what happens and uh, the brushes I use for slip this is not no, a, a traditional brush or anything it's a but it is a makeup brush and being a cosmetologist for over 35 years uh, why not use makeup brushes I don't really practice cosmetology anymore but cut a lot of hair but anyway so this is what I use for putting a lot of my slips on pots. They're cheap, $2 brushes or a dollar brush at the dollar store. And they work pretty good. I usually do a double coat. You don't want to rake it back too much in the same spot or you start pulling up some of the clay body and that could change your color of the pot. So I'll let that dry and I'll come back over it one more time and thicken up the slip a little bit. These makeup brushes, sometimes they lose hairs. So you just gotta go and pluck the hair out of the, the dry slip when it does that. But the main thing here is the mineral oil, keeping your pot from getting too hydrated up with the the slip moisture and that could cause it to crack you especially don't want to have a, a pot sitting in the sun and then slip it directly you want to let it cool down to room temperature before you slip it will uh, otherwise crack the pot most likely around the rim you might only want to do a, a small section especially if your pots are real thin do a little section let it dry come back and uh, do a little bit more
but this pot's on the thicker side. I'm going to use it for pottery forms for upcoming classes one of these days. So there's the first coat, go right up to the lip here, and then I'll throw a second coat on a little bit and see what happens. All right, so you can see I've changed. So anyways, I'm just going to slip this thing one more time. <clears throat> one more time. One thing you want to be careful about. When you do put mineral oil on one of these pots, if you are preheating it in your house oven or in a kiln in the garage or whatever, the mineral oil does burn off and smoke a little bit. So uh, probably wouldn't want to do it in your house or anywhere where you're going to be sitting there breathing the stuff. It is probably not good for your lungs. Actually, it is definitely not good for your lungs. So this is the second coat. And I probably should have did the lip first. And that way I could set it down on the bottom. Should make for a pretty nice color when fired. One of these days I'm going to try to reduce this the slip to see if it uh, is good for black and white pottery and saucy stuff. Pueblo, early Pueblo stuff. Who knows? So I'll come back with the finished product soon. Okay, so. I uh, painted this pot and fired it, and it came out pretty nice. Got some bear paws on it. At least over here in Southern California, they call them bear paws. Along the river, they were called raccoon tracks, so. But you, you get a little, it kind of has a, almost a really old look to it. It's got different colorations seeping through. I did fill it with water and uh, it is drying, but there's some strange stuff to this slip that I found. So I'm gonna start experimenting with it. And it almost replicates the old salt and sea buff wear, where the clay migrates a bunch of salts out to the outside and gives it the same color, but sometimes you'll get a little more purple in it. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. And I'll be making another video soon on uh, something else you can do with mineral oil and ceramics. Um, stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel. i got a whole bunch of videos with all kinds of different things going on. Thanks.